Hey, it's just B. So today I'm here to do a review and kind of show you some more stuff I bought. So let me show you the stuff that I bought first. It's really exciting. What did I get? I got the whole Carol's Daughter hair milk set. And I got a bottle of the Twee Leave-In Conditioner. So that's what I bought. So I'm going to talk to you about the um, hair milk set. First I'll start with the shampoo. The, the thing that I noticed about this shampoo that's really different than um, other Carol's Daughter shampoos is that this one is really pearly. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but it's really pearly and um, most other Carol's Daughter shampoos that I've used have been um, like clear and like the color of tea and um, kind of murky and brown like swamp water with like herbs and and other goodness in there but never a pearly one so when I poured it in my hand I noticed that it was pearly and I thought it was really pretty so shampoo you know I'm not big on shampoo and I don't, you know, to me shampoo is shampoo as long as it doesn't have like both sulfates in it. But um, it lathered really well. I put like a half dollar amount in my palm. My hair was really saturated with water and I spread it out and it worked into a really thick, rich lather. And it only took like that half dollar size amount for my whole head. And it got my hair really clean, but it didn't feel stripped. So um, I like it. It's a good shampoo. It smells um, citrusy. It doesn't smell exactly like the hair milk, but it, it smells like it can complement the hair milk. Um, the conditioner is, it's pretty thick. Yeah, it's a pretty thick conditioner. And um, it smells similar to the shampoo, kind of citrusy. And when I put it on, I put it, I divided my hair into sections, which I never, ever do. And I don't know why I did it this time, maybe just because I could. But um, I divided it into two sections. And the reason that I don't divide it into two sections is because I don't want to miss anything by dividing it up. And I don't want to, like clean this side real good and clean this side and then don't clean the middle so that's why I always do my whole head plus I'm really lazy so that's why I don't usually divide it up into sections but what I noticed is on one side I didn't put enough this side and on this side I did put enough maybe a little too much and this side I I could detangle it I had to work to detangle it but I could tell I didn't have enough over here but I still got it detangled with no problem and then this side was like a whiz to detangle and I could tell that I had enough or too much on this side but it detangled my hair was soft um, and would I repurchase the shampoo and the conditioner Right now, I'm not sure. I would probably have to use it a few more times before I decided that. It's just that I have so much stuff that I would have to be down to my last bottle of shampoo and conditioner before I could really decide what I'm going to buy again. Um, I know there are some things that I, I will buy all the time. Not quite sure yet if these are going to be some things that I buy all the time but I do think they're good and I will continue to use them and you know if I buy them again you'll be the first people to know and also it the set does come with um, a hair milk and I, I haven't used this one I keep this one in the refrigerator which is what I do with them when I'm not using them and the bottles used to say a long time ago to refrigerate them so I've always done that but I'm still using this one with because I have a couple of the old bottles still in there. This is an eight ounce bottle. The new bottles are 10 ounces. So that's pretty cool. You get two more ounces. Um, when I put the hair milk on after I conditioned, I rinsed out the conditioner and did a cold water rinse. Um, 
And then I put this on and it was like, you know, it's like my hair was reunited and it felt so good. It was like, oh, you're my friend. Thank you. Thank you for coming back. And it just made my hair soft and defined my curls. And I've been refreshing each day or every other day or as needed with this. And I haven't been spraying with my refresher spray. I've just been putting this on in the morning. So what I do is put my hair at the top of my head in the morning before I take a shower. And then when I'm taking it down, I'll put this in the front and the back and in the middle and on the ends. And my hair's been soft. My hair's been pretty dry lately, so I've been trying to find something to make it soft, and I had it, you know? I just, I really love hair milk, and I'll always use it. And I know some people don't like the hair milk, and I'm not saying you should buy some. I'm just saying I like it. It works for me. I'll keep buying it. But if you know you don't like it, don't buy it. It's fine. So today I tried the, um, there's this in, in the new um, hair milk sets. You can choose from this one, which is the original curl definer, or you can choose from the newer formula, which is um, a lighter formula than the original. And it's called the Curl Booster. I tried it today. There's one difference. It doesn't smell like the original. It doesn't have the lemongrass smell. It smells like roses and flowers, which I I didn't care for. And when I put it on, it was light. I could tell it was lighter and I put it on my hair and my hair sucked that stuff right up. It's like I didn't put anything on my hair. So, you know, I was wondering like, hey, maybe I'm supposed to try this one. Maybe this one will work better for me. No, this is the one that works best for me. So I'll continue to use this one. The Curl Booster is probably if you have finer hair, but my hair, my thick strands of hair suck up that stuff. So this works best for me. Um, and for the Twee Leave-In Conditioner, I'm going to start using this um, in my refresher spray instead of the generic Infusium 23 because it has less chemicals. And, you know, I've used it before and it, it worked well as a leave-in conditioner. It, it helped me to comb through my hair. Um, it was easier to comb through when I would put it on. So I have this one and I have a black vanilla one. So I'm going to try these in my refresher spray instead of the infusium. So I'll, I'll update you on how this works. So I'll use this, a little bit of water, and a couple of drops of glycerin. I won't put as much water because I don't want to dilute it too much so that's my plan for the winter so I touched on my hair routine for right now in the morning I put my hair on top of my head to stretch it which is probably why it's really big right now at night I still put it in a bun and and sleep that way but in the morning I'll stretch it out on top of my head and that's been working it's stretching it out and I like how it looks it is time for me to go and get my highlights and a trim and I will do a video and update you on that as well. But so far this is all the hair stuff that I've bought lately that I haven't told you about. I should have another review coming up soon and I may do my first MAC haul and maybe my first Chanel haul but um, we'll see. We'll see because sometimes you guys aren't interested in makeup videos so we'll see. So let me show you what my hair looks like. It's pretty big, but I like it. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and commenting and subscribing. And I will see you next time.